Hey everyone, it's Jen at Ink Paper Rubber. I am back again. We got another shipment in today. This one is from Tailored Expressions. It has some of the great products from the last couple of releases that we have sold out of, and so I wanted to be sure and show you what we got in today. Uh, first of all, we got back in this stamp set that is called Can't Touch This, and I just love this stamp set. It is so cute. You can see you ha we have different cactus on here, the saguaro cactus and barrel cactus. We have little faces, so if you are so inclined, you can stamp a little face on your cactus. Um, and then there are some really cute punny sentiments that go along with it. And sold separately, but I think really almost a necessity for this set is the can't touch this die set you can see that there is a die so that you can cut out the cactus after you stamp kind of the details on there i know so cute we also get all of these pots we have a sombrero we have some little flowers to put on the cactus so you can also even use the die set just by itself even without the stamp set if you want but when you combine them together they are absolutely adorable here is one here. You can see all that fun pattern and detail there on the cactus and with the flowers and the sombrero on it. Here is another fun one where we have used the pots and added a face to it. I think that is so cute. Also might mention the Fiesta Skinny Mini Borders. We do have those in stock as well. We've used that on here as well as these fun little multicolored mini pom-poms that you can use to decorate this and other things. Next up is a sentiment set. You all know how much I love sentiment sets, and this is a really great one. It is called Wild and Free. Lots of really great kind of inspirational sentiments on here, and it pairs perfectly with their layering feather stamp set, which you see um, that we used on this card here. That is a really great set. We do have that in stock. Let you create all different kinds of feathers with all the different layers that you can build up there. Next up from their latest release are a couple of really cute sea themed items. First of all, hey there, Linda. I really like this uh, set here. It's called. It's one of part of their Build a Background series, and this one is waves. And you can see you have these waves here, and then you have the beach and some different elements, so you can do different colors and give some nice dimension to it. We have a couple of little splash stamps, and what I really like about this set is you notice on here in the waves where we have the yellow, that is indicating where you can die cut with the included dies that come with this stamp set. So if you want to cut a little slit in the wave so that you can have something like maybe a mermaid tail coming up out of the waves, then it makes it really easy to do that. And here is a card that we're going to be doing in an upcoming class that uses both of those sets. So super cute. Really like that. Look how you can create that additional detail with those extra stamps on your beach there. Next up is, I want, not really an oldie, but it's been around for a few months, but it has remained really popular, and we sell out of it every time we get it in, are the Simple Strips Background Stamp Set. It is a stamp set that has all of these different sentiments on them. It is all comes in one stamp, and of course you could cut these apart yourself, but what makes it even easier is the Simple Strips die that matches up perfectly with that stamp. So you can stamp once, die cut once, and you have all these wonderful sentiments on these little banner strips. And I might point out, I believe it's coming out in the August release, there is rumored to be not one, but two new Simple Strips background stamps that will work with this die. So keep that in mind. And I just wanted to show you a really cute card that we did for a make and take recently. And we used the Simple Strips die. We did not use the stamp. We just used the die to cut all of the different banners in red, white, and blue. We glued them onto our card and trimmed them across the top and made this really cute card with that. So some other great things you can do with that. You also probably have other sentiments that you can use this die. I have done that. I've taken some other sentiments um, from different sets, not from this one, and I have stamped them. And as long as they're little one-line sentiments, you can stamp them and use that die to die cut those out as well. Last couple things I have to show you are two new background stamps from the latest release, the June release. The first one is the Create in Color background that has all these wonderful pencils. You can make them colored pencils or whatever kind of pencil you would like. 
and also the wildflower background. Both of these were really popular. We sold out the first time we had them in, and I expect them to go quickly again. And Tracy, yes, your stamp, your wildflower background stamp is here. Let me just show you a couple of samples using these two. This is an amazing um, sample using the Create in Color background. I just think that is gorgeous. This is from the Tailored Expressions website. Uh, looks like Angelica Conrad, one of their design team, did that one. And here is one with the wildflower background. And while that wildflower background, if you like to color, that is a great stamp. Even if you don't like to color, look how amazing this is. Just a really bright, fun background, maybe with the Tailored Expressions liquid watercolors and stamp the flowers in black over that and you have a really easy card but of course if you do like to color you can take the time to go and color those flowers in so lots of possibilities with those all right that is all that i have for you today i hope you all have a great night stay cool it's pretty getting pretty warm out there and we look forward to seeing you soon goodbye